Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 30th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a world update, space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything affecting humanity. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, observing the CMEs and as well the X-class solar flare in the bottom part of the sun, active sunspot that was cresting, did release a B-class range flare today, as well plasma filament being sucked into it, looking at the last 48 hours incoming, pretty active to say the least, with four sunspots cresting, well one cresting and three facing our planet, another one building just behind there, looking at out outgoing images here. No major events to talk about except for the filament eruptions. Small CME showing on the ISWA on the backside of our sun. Close look here at the X-class solar flare and as well the sunspot region behind it. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on these active sunspots. As well watch here as plasma filament rope just to the right of this sunspot gets sucked right into the sunspot right here and whap inside producing a b-class flare still nothing on iswa yet looking at the multi-spectrum all of the events for the last 48 hours on our sun just an interesting color to look at shows you all of the events Pulses, filaments. Only thing it doesn't show is coronal holes. This one does. 171 angstroms showing no earth facing coronal holes. Lasco 2 and 3 clearing up a little bit after seeing all of that dense cosmic energy thwarted our way. Compared to what it was yesterday, it has definitely calmed down. No major events to talk about here. Small CME, as I said, just to the right side there, back side of the sun. Looking at a real-time solar wind, slightly elevated here to about 380 kilometers per second, and we're going to watch that increase overnight as we are smacked by the geomagnetic activity. And as well, looking at the density bunches, which have dropped off recently. Solar X-ray flux still remains low. X-ray background still being affected. Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere at the poles. Looking at the Aurora forecast here for the next 24 hours. As most of Canada will see some northern lights. As far down south as Montana. Looking at our geospace magnetosphere cut planes. Real-time solar wind. We're going to see kind of a backdraft ahead of... This solar flare in incoming kind of looks like we're seeing it now with these maps heading towards the sun like that. That means the energy is on its way and very close. Observing here, Iswa showing the small CME blast at Mercury. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 27. Quite a healthy spike there around 3 p.m. today. Power of 27 quality of 17. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours as we're sitting pretty low right now. 211 earthquakes across the USGS. But we're going to start out here with the largest of the day. Western Indian Antarctic Ridge with a 5.9 earthquake, 10 kilometer depth. As well, the Mid-Indian Ridge seeing a 4.9 at 10 kilometer depth. 4.2 here up into Pakistan. Zarab. And as well, a 4.0 reported here in Crete, Greece, at a 10-kilometer depth. Looking through the Philippines plate, 5.5 Timor-Leste, 15-kilometer depth. And as well, the Philippines reporting a 4.4 and a 4.7. 4.4 here in Izangol, Vanuatu, 4.4. And as well, a 5.5 here, 379 kilometer depth. That is the deepest earthquake the last 24 hours. 
Shikotan, Russia, 4.5 there, right in between Japan and Kamchatka. Watch for activity to come back to Japan overnight tonight. Minor activity through Alaska, but numerous. Captain Cook, Hawaii, a 3.1. That is west of the Hawaiian island. Pretty rare area for earthquakes. Haven't seen an earthquake there this year. 3.1. Minor activity still through Hawaii. Looking across the United States. Not much to talk about here. Verlot, Washington, 2.7. Nothing over a 3.0 magnitude today across North America or Canada. Looking to the Caribbean plate. Activity is coming back here. Largest being a 3.8. Dominican Republic at 108 kilometer depth. South America here at 4.6. In Peru, that was reported yesterday. 4.2 double shot here. Calama, Chile. And as well a 4.0 or 5.0. West Chile rise. South Sandwich Islands seeing another earthquake. 4.7. Pretty quiet, to say the least, though, but not in La Palma. Looking at La Palma, they'd reported a 5.0 earthquake. Today, largest earthquake that they've seen since all of the minor earthquakes and the massive eruption here. So we could see some more fissure opening events across this island. Thoughts and prayers to everybody affected. 5.0 earthquake reported La Palma today. Canary Islands, and as well a 4.1 there reported. Wow, La Palma is still going and showing no signs of letting up, especially with this large 5.0 earthquake. Ay, ay, ay. Again, thoughts and prayers to everybody affected. Having a look at the last seven days across the planet for earthquakes, pretty quiet to say the least across the North American plate. Did see some minor activity up into the Cascades. Nothing to be concerned about. But the low activity through Japan is a little bit concerning. And as well through Europe, African Plate, South America, and Central Plate. Kind of waiting for something big here. Have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Semeru, Indonesia, Reventador, Fuego, Sange, La Palma, Sabinkaya, Nevada Ruiz, Kermiski, Shivalich in Russia, Semisnapochnoi. Many flood alerts and storm alerts. Ibu, Indonesia. Popo in Mexico and Krakatoa, Indonesia. So that's about a dozen volcanoes getting updated today. No major storms to talk about. Tropical Storm Melo has since dissipated and is a subtropical storm, but still heading towards the west coast of North America. Lots of rain and flooding conditions through Sumatra, Indonesia. Over the last little while, they've seen some very intense daily evaporation rains Monsoon season coming back to the area, as well as storms through India. Tornado there reported in Vietnam. Storms Cambodia. As well a tornado reported here, Indonesia. Wildfires breaking out across north northern territory of Australia and parts of eastern Australia now seeing stormy weather with systems moving in. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast. Brought to you by Meteor, Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, Canada. As look at those blue cold temperatures moving in by the end of this forecast, the five-day forecast, we're going to be sitting just below zero in Ontario. And that's thanks to, thanks to this high-pressure ridge coming through Alberta and growing th eastward and southward into Colorado is going to bring some major snow events there. And look at that system. As I said, that is remnants of Tropical Storm Rick and an Alberta Clipper heading into Greenland. And another North Pole rush from these large systems. 
Looking at the West Coast here, we've got three systems affecting you this week, mostly BC and northward. You'll see a couple waves of moisture through Washington and Oregon. Looking at the next 10 days for snowfall accumulation across North America, you're going to see some intense snow squalls off of Lake Erie and as well as Superior this week. Watch for heavy snowfall totals, 30 centimeters there. Foot of snow, 40 centimeters possible. Parts of Colorado and as well through Wyoming, higher elevation is going to see some snow. And look here, got at least a foot of snow coming southern coast of Lake Superior and blanketed all across and around the Hudson Bay area, eastern Canada. Having a look over Europe and as well Russia, Asia, parts of Asia, some deep cold moving into the area there as well. We'll get to that in just a moment. We do have some stormy conditions that will be moving into Texas this week. Other than that, no major weather events to talk about. Overlooking the Atlantic. Still watching that subtropical system. Center of the Atlantic. Looks like it's going to suck up this area of interest coming off the coast of Africa. And they're both going to head northwards towards the pole. Just like every other strong system that has been coming to the jet stream. Overlooking Europe. You've got quite a system moving in by Thursday. Parts of Italy, watch for stormy weather and as well some heavy snowfall accumulations through higher elevations. United Kingdom drying out by the end of the week. Looking over Russia, big cold high pressure ridge bubbling down through parts of Eastern Europe and into China. Going to be dropping those temperatures way down minus 30 in the Tibetan Plateau, parts of North China. And as well, very cold temperatures moving into Russia. Those blizzard-like systems are still affecting parts of northern Russia. Overlooking Indonesia here, still watching daily evaporation rains and lots of it. Stormy conditions through Laos. And as well, a big low-pressure system here affecting South India and then heading into Yemen early or later in the long range forecast overlooking Australia spotty showers all across the continent this week pretty cloudy conditions rainy and warm it's your transition into spring New Zealand got a high pressure ridge locked in pretty much until the end of the week. Overlooking the Pacific, one, two, three systems affecting Alaska and BC this week. And then look at this area of interest building parts of the West Pacific. Long range forecast is going to be very interesting. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared with daily forecasts and world updates. Overlooking South America, no major weather conditions developing. Still watching the system develop through Argentina and as well one riding the coastline of Brazil. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through parts of northern South America. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rain seems to be a low pressure center around the center of Africa. And as well a small system affecting parts of South Africa this week. Other than that, no major weather conditions to talk about through Africa. I want to thank you all for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern, pointing out the major systems affecting and spinning our, around our planet. Much love to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Subscribers in 179 countries worldwide. Over 40,000 following. Much love. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye now.
enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.